Oh hey, let's talk about AI, specifically Microsoft's Copilot. It's your everyday AI companion. It's an AI bot that you can enter text prompts into, and it will either pull up information about something you're asking about, it can write documents for you, it can generate images based on those text prompts. And of course, it's for Microsoft, so it's not going to do anything bad, right? Well, that depends on whether or not you ask Shane Jones. He's a Microsoft engineer who warns the company's AI tool creates violent sexual images and ignores copyrights. Shane worked for Microsoft, and he was putting it through the paces. He's there to test whether or not it has flaws or bugs or creates things that are harmful or dangerous. It's called red teaming. And he found some problems. He found ways that it would create uh, graphic violent images or sexually suggestive images. Certain prompts would bring up images of underage drinking or drug use. Uh, a prompt like car wreck was generating images of mangled cars along with women who were scantily clad in suggestive poses. Uh, but one thing in particular stood out to me. He said, simply by putting the term pro-choice into Copilot Designer with no other prompting, Jones found the tool generated a slew of cartoon images depicting demons, monsters, and violent scenes. The images, which were viewed by CNBC, included a demon with a sharp teeth about to eat an infant, Darth Vader holding a lightsaber next to a mutated infant, and handheld drill-like devices labeled pro-choice being used on a fully grown baby. There were also images of blood pouring from smiling women surrounded by happy doctors and huge uterus in a crowded area surrounded by burning torches and a man with a devil's pitchfork standing next to a demon and a machine labeled pro-choice. And then CNBC did their own tests and had similar images generated. And he's like, this is one, images it should not be creating, period. And two, why is it showing what is clearly a biased opinion of the term pro-choice. It's generating images that show people who are pro-choice as being monsters or demons or creatures of some kind, which brings into question what trains the AI that made it think that was the correct response. But I have something to add to the conversation, and that's why I'm making this video. On the same day that I saw that article, a teacher reached out to me. She reached out to me and said that her and at least one of her students had an odd experience utilizing Copilot. When they were searching for things, it brought up something that didn't seem to match the search, and she sent me some screenshots. So here we go. Here's one of them. Uh, it was searching, what's the cost of a home inspection in Long Beach, California? And it comes up with some, some answers there, along with links that could be relevant. Another thing was uh, create an image of a multi-poo mini dog sitting on the pillows of a white couch looking out a window with a white wall behind it to create those images, again, along with some links. How about dog food for pancreatitis? Which, again, gave information on what kind of food would be good for a dog suffering from pancreatitis, along with relative links. And also a search on torn rotator cuffs and relative links. All of these things seem pretty uninvolved with each other, except maybe the dog food and the image of a dog, just because they both say dog. Otherwise, I'd say none of these topics have anything in common, except all of these results have something in common. Did you catch what it was? It had to do with the links that they provided. I went ahead and put them all here. Do you see it yet? Do you see what they all have in common? Here, let me help. All of those searches, one of the links that could be relative to the search that it generated was to project2025.org. All of them came up with project 2025.org, and if you don't know what that is, it's what the Heritage Foundation put out as the plan for America should Donald Trump win the presidency again. It's a mandate for him, it's a mandate for Republicans, and the site is designed to show it in a very favorable and positive light. It has their policy agenda, it has this book, Mandate for Leadership, The Conservative Promise. It is designed so that you, the visitor, coming to the site, see this as a very good thing. And not what it really is, a promise of revenge, oppression, and autocratic rule that, if allowed, will cement America as a right-wing, authoritarian state. And these aren't just like clickbait titles. It is scary, scary stuff. So my question is, when I search torn rotator cuff, why does it want me to go to project2025.org? What does the conservative promise have to do with a multi-poo? or for that matter, home inspections in Long Beach, California. I asked the teacher and said, well, 
Did you maybe search for this earlier on your computer? Had you been looking up Project 2025 and then afterward you did these? She said, no, I didn't look it up or really know that much about it until it started popping up as a link. And then, yeah, then I went to it because it was there and I was like, what is this? And I was like, wait, why is this here? Why is it showing me this? And like I said, at least one of her students got the same results when entering things into Copilot. Now I downloaded Copilot and tried doing the same searches to see if I would get the same results. And I did not get Project 2025, but then again, I was not logged in and it doesn't know anything about me. They use it very frequently and have been for a while. I'm not signed in, it doesn't know if I'm a man or a woman, how old I am, where I live. It does know that information about them, in theory. And I still thought, eh, maybe this is just a coincidence, maybe it's a weird thing, until I saw this. And then I started going, wait, it seems to be leaning to one side or the other. And AI is just a thoughtless animal. It only knows what it's trained on, which begs the question, what is it trained on that it sees pro-choice as monsters and it's pushing Project 2025?